Greetings, YouTube. Um, recently, there was someone that was tweeting out an idea of there being a female Joker. And that the impetus behind her snap that helped turn her into the Joker was just one too many dudes telling her to smile. So she did. Forever and ever. And then she decided to start taking out all the guys that ask women to smile. And of course, the, the comic book neckbeards all freaked out about that one. And uh, the uh, misogynist and the MRA types, they, uh, they, joined the, they joined the fray as well and started screaming and yelling about how dare there be, be uh, female Joker, how dare there be females in any kind of media, um, and how dare women be upset when dudes tell them to smile. It's just a compliment. So it got me thinking. How many times would it take before a guy snaps? How many times would it take some dude or some women on the street to tell you to smile before you stopped laughing at all, before you started getting surly, and before he started screaming and yelling in response. Do you think he could last 12? 50? 100? 1,000? So how many? How many times do you think you could do it? And I want you to imagine all these dudes out there who are currently pondering um, this idea. What if every single one of those guys was bigger, stronger, and carrying a shotgun? So you couldn't respond. They posed an imminent, dangerous threat to you. Every single one of them. And you never knew which one was going to decide that they were going to yell back or hurt you. So you have, to, you have to do that metric. You have to do that, that, that judgment call. Do I say anything and run the risk of a verbal or physical assault? Do I run the risk of this person following me and verbally harassing me for the next three blocks? Or do I just hunker down, ignore it, and move on? Well, you see, I suffer from mental illness, as I've mentioned before on my channel. Anxiety, depression, PTSD. And there was a time in my life where I didn't smile very often um, because I was deeply stuck in mental illness. And apparently when I don't smile, um, it can intimidate people. And people told my boss that they didn't like the fact that I didn't smile. So my boss told me I had to smile. Yes, actually, a, a boss actually told one of their employees that they had to smile. Now, I should point out that I have never worked in retail. I have never worked with the public. I've worked in manufacturing for my entire working career. So the only people that see me on a daily basis are people who I see every day. So I was forced to smile because at the time I wasn't mentally healthy enough to tell my boss no. Um, so I just did it. So I would walk around like, And apparently that was good enough for them. Apparently that appeased their need to have someone smile. Nothing in my eyes. Absolutely nothing sincere or genuine about it. They didn't care. All they cared about was all they cared about was that they got the they got the empty gesture. Jump forward to twenty nineteen. I'm in a much healthier place than I used to be. And I'm much more likely to tell people in the world how I actually feel about things. Um, sometimes it's a response that they find entertaining, and sometimes it's a response they didn't want, because people say a lot of empty platitudes. I don't handle empty platitudes well. People ask me questions, how are you doing today? I tell them. Um, it doesn't always make me popular, but that's okay. Um, but I recently had someone 
tell me I needed to smile. Not just smile, but you need to smile. It was a demand. It was an order. Now, I should point out this person is just a co-worker, and in fact, at that moment, it was my subordinate. Um, and my response was quick and to the point. Fuck off. And I walked, on, and I walked away. I don't owe him a smile. Not now and not ever. I don't owe him anything. When I'm his boss at work, <clears throat> if he has a problem, I solve it. If I can. If he needs something and I can accomplish it, I'll give him a hand. But other than that, he doesn't get to dictate my facial expression, or what I wear, or what color water bottle I use. All of which I have been judged on. Because he doesn't like my clothes, and he thinks that the purple water bottle I use is a feminine color. Even though he uses a purple pen every day. Yes. I don't. I don't imagine to try to under uh, understand that at all. It makes no sense to me. But that was my response when I was told, hey, you know, you need to smile. And my response was, fuck off. So I know exactly how many times and in that context I could respond because I know this person is no threat to me. What about in the street? Would I respond that way if someone else? Yeah, very likely. Because at this point in my life, I just don't give a fuck. If somebody wants to die on that hill, okay, we're going to die on that hill today. I, uh, I've just had it with people tell me what to do. There are under certain circumstances when I got no option. But even under those circumstances, I make sure they understand that they're making me do something I don't want to do. My boss does it regularly and makes me work Friday nights. And when she thanks me for it, I say, don't thank me. You thank someone when they do something for you because they, because they volunteered. I didn't volunteer. You made me. It annoys her. Still the truth. When you force somebody to do something, don't thank them. That's abusive. I know. Don't erase somebody's pain. She does that too. But don't tell people to smile. So, dudes of the internet, tell me. How many times would it tell you before you say fuck off? And would you do that metric in your head? Would you make that little gamble? Is this guy gonna is, is this guy a threat to me? Because women have been harassed for not smiling back or coming back at them verbally. Hell, women who have refused to give their number to a guy have been harassed, have been verbally assaulted, have been physically assaulted, have been murdered. For a woman in our world, the so-and-so civilized Western world, every goddamn day is that juggle, that metric, that a threat assessment. They don't ever get to walk away from it. And guys never have to pay attention to it. They ignore it. Because they can. Because they have that privilege. 